Today on the Metal Roofing Channel, we talk about metal roof design and snow retention. What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel and welcome to another episode on our Standing Seam Metal Roof Design Series. Uh, we got a great topic today about snow retention and make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any of these episodes. If you haven't seen any of the other episodes, make sure you check those out first before watching this one. So Lori, I'm gonna hand it off to you and okay. tell me a little bit about when designing a metal roof, what should you consider with snow retention? Sure, um, I, well I think the two biggest points are you're either we're starting with this standing seam metal roof. So we're either designing it to shed the snow or we're going to design it to retain the snow. If we're going to design it to shed the snow, then you want to purposely place your people and pets entrances at the gables. You want to design it so that the snow is not shedding over landscaping, uh, mechanical equipment that may be on the ground, um, gardens, anything tender like that, sidewalks. If you are going to design it such that you don't have that leeway, so you, now you are going to design it to purposely retain the snow, then you have your choices. In snow retention, you either have an individual cleat or you have a continuous snow rail or snow fence. The biggest point we wanna make here is because our standing seam metal roofs are fully engineered, it would be most wise to also choose an engineered snow retention system. So as you're evaluating those manufacturers, be sure to look for that. As you'll see in our literature, we are a distributor for the S5 style of snow retention. Theirs is an engineered system. Um, and they're a great resource, a great help. They will help you design it, lay it out, uh, provide estimates for that. Now let's focus on the systems that are going to retain the snow and the various styles again. I already mentioned the individual or cleat style and then the fence or the snow rail style. There are also glue on snow guards or snow pads. There are, um, your choices can be metal versus plastic, but in the beginning of the process, you wanna reach out, um, always call us, we'll give you our opinion on the, on the style best suited for our standing seams. But make sure that you're talking to the roofing manufacturers so that you're not voiding any warranties. Warranties on the systems, or warranties on the paint. While I'm talking about the paint, let's get right into the glue-ons. You must remember that if you're choosing an adhesive type of snow guard, snow retention, that bond is only as good as the paint to the substrate of the roof is. So make sure you read as much as you can on that, research that, Talk to the provider of the glue on snow guard, talk to the paint manufacturer, talk to your roofing manufacturer. So typically, you know, a, a glue on, um, you know, something that is glued right in the center of the panel, your typical snow guard like that, that typically will void a paint warranty. Um, you know, it's sometimes you'll see a lot of snow build up, and then in the spring you'll see a lot of, uh, you know, snow guards on the ground then. So mm -hmm. um, then you look up at the roof and you take a look at the roof and there's voids in the paint, there's paint that's chipped off, peeled off, or <clears throat> the glue failed and you'll see a spot on the roof or multiple dots on the roof where it was uh, attached to the roof mm -hmm. and it was getting different UV than the rest. So now you have a spotted roof. So that's mm -hmm. one of the things that I think you wanna avoid. Um, and also one of the, the big purposes of a standing seam roof is a, is a roof without penetrations. Mm -hmm. um, that's, you know, one of the biggest benefits is this, this great system that you don't make Swiss cheese of. There's a number of 
uh, snow guard systems that will actually uh, penetrate the roof uh, and the body of the panel and things like that. Um, you absolutely want to avoid that if possible as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you could uh, essentially, you're using this to keep snow on the roof. And when UV hits that snow or warmth hits that snow, you get freeze thaw, freeze thaw uh, throughout. And essentially you have, um, it, you know, if done correctly, either a piece of butyl or some sealant and a fastener, um, you're, you're counting on that to not have any water intrusion in there. And it's just a better bet to have a clamp on system, a non-penetrating uh, snow retention system for your roof. So moving away from, you know, penetrating your roof or gluing a, a snow guard on a roof, you know, so avoid the glue, avoid penetrating the roof if at all possible. You know, we prefer a clamp on system, whether it's a warranted Sheffield Metals roof or non-warranted. And those clamp on guards won't have a factor in voiding the paint warranty. They won't penetrate the roof. So it really depends on the manufacturer. So you want a manufacturer that's not going to crack and chip and peel the paint. There's a number of uh, systems that have a set screw that will actually uh, perforate the paint and potentially perforate the metal. Okay. That would essentially avoid the warranty. It's not cutting the metal, but it is cutting the coating, that Galvalum coating over that cold rolled. And that is a potential failure point, rust issue failure point. Um, which could cause the, the metal to corrode, uh, cause the paint to, to fail down the line. So you really do want to use a clamp system with a set screw that's not going to mm -hmm. uh, degrade the, the metal coating. Right, right. And to make sure that you're, even that you have read um, the instructions from the snow guard manufacturer, but make sure that your contractor is aware because they're very specific on how to set the, the tightening of those set screws so as to also not restrict the movement of the roof. Yeah. And, and a lot of the snow retention manufacturers are very specific on the placement of a snow guard or where you're going to clamp it. Right. So, <clears throat> and a lot of that has to do with, you know, the force that will be exerted on that. Yeah. So yeah. if you've got a, a, a eave edge that hangs off, you know, over the, uh, the roof system or over the, the structure, mm -hmm and you put the, the snow retention system right there, you're putting all that weight on the eave line and where it should be, you know, really in line with the, the bearing point or, you know, the load for the right, wall right. of that building. Yeah. So uh, keep that in mind in, in terms of design. You know, mm -hmm. you will have a, a snow rail, you will have a, uh, you know, a guarded system, mm -hmm. you know, up on yep. that building. And the, and the snow guard manufacturers will do the layout for you. Yes. You know, take take their guidance. This is this is their expertise, um, and they take it very seriously. So as we're talking about snow retention, tell me why it's important to keep snow on the roof in the first place. Sure. Well, there'll be the, again the areas to protect people, cars, pets, gardens, all that. But you want to keep it on the roof. The the main. Uh, goal of a snow guard is to keep the snow on the roof and allow it to very slowly melt rather than an avalanche or a slide, which will typically take out what's ever underneath it, as we all know. Yeah, and you have, you know, I've seen it, homeowners, building owners, things like that, you know, call us up and say, you know, their first winter with a metal roof and they say, gee, I never had this problem with a, my shingle roof, you know, what's going on? So, you know, PVDF paints were really designed from, you know, non-stick products or, or derivatives of that. And, you know, the idea is that, uh, you know, a shingle roof is going to retain this more often than not, where a standing seam roof, especially a smooth painted system, is just going to shed it as much as anything. So it, oftentimes it's a surprise. Um, you hope that it's caught before it really becomes a safety issue uh, or, or an emergency issue. So the, the science behind it really is you've got a smooth surface and you've got a, a snow load on your roof. Um, you know, call it six inches of snow. I mean, that's easy to picture. Mm -hmm. So you've got a smooth surface, six inches of snow, and then you have, uh, you know, this, this vector force of gravity essentially pulling this down. And in a shingle roof, it's, you know, going to do some to keep it on there. Um, 
without a retention system. So, you know, to protect entrances, to, to protect against this avalanche effect, you know, you really should have a uh, snow retention system in place. Um, not only is it going to be a safety thing, but it's also going to, in the wintertime, it's going to act as an additional insulator for that roofing system. Okay. So we've been talking about new construction here. What about re-roofing on an older building? Yep. Um, if if the design for the standing seam metal roof is a re-roof on an older building, and obviously because it's metal, we're now going to have to address in the right geographic location the need for snow retention if that's so desired. Um, in that scenario, you would typically have an engineer come in and assess the structure and make sure that it could handle the anticipated snow load that the snow retention system would deliver. So when you're talking about the structure of the system being engineered, you know, we're often pushing the metal roofing system being engineered. And you alluded to, um, you know, the snow retention system right. being engineered. So, you know, when you look at it from the ground up, you want to have everything engineered. You want to know how your system's going to perform under certain conditions. And I think that's the, you know, one of the big reasons why we use uh, S5. It's a mm -hmm. non-penetrating uh, clamp system. Uh, they're engineered systems. They've, they've done a lot of uh, testing with our panels and a, re a lot of research with metal roofing panels throughout the industry. Mm -hmm. uh, ones that we offer and ones that we don't. So I think, you know, when we when we look at partnering with the experts, that's really it. You know, their their system is, you know, really the originator of the, the clamp system. It's it's tested. It's true. It's lasted over time. And you know, that's really where we've been able to carry the, you know, accessorial type things for the metal roofing forward. Um, being an engineered piece that is a component of our system that, you know, we know will perform with our system when installed correctly. Right. 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 And if you come to us for design help, uh, like Lori mentioned earlier, uh, we're gonna make our recommendations, we're gonna point you in the right direction, um, but then the, the Snow Guard manufacturer is really gonna take you that next step further uh, to answer your questions and talk about your specific design when it comes to those Snow Guards. All right, well, I'm gonna wrap up uh, today's episode. Thanks for being a part of Standing Seam Metal Roof Design Series here on the Metal Roofing Channel. Stay tuned next week, we've got a video about warranties coming up, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Comment below if you have any questions. Thank you so much for joining us. Check us out at Sheffield Metals online. I'm Thad Barnett with Sheffield Metals. We'll catch you next time.